that was woo! It's Captain Kazoo again. That was a barbecue bus by the Mississippi Juke Band. Unfortunately, the kazoo player on that particular recording, unknown, unknown. He not only does vocals, but he does the kazoo. <clears throat> this is Captain Kazoo back again. Wow. Uh, it's been a heck of a weekend. With National Kazoo Day, I hope everybody had a fantastic humming National Kazoo Day. And bam, right on top of that, we have another spectacular event, which we're going to call, not we're going to call, but is referred to as Black History Month. The history of black folks, people, etc. in this country in the United States, whatever, Black History Month is February, and that's where we are right now. Now, I had a whole show planned out, but things uh, do impact on our decision as to what we're going to do. And what I have in front of me right here, I'm going to hold this up to the camera. I don't know whether you can see that or not, clearly. This is an application. This is an application. This is a nomination to the, unfortunately, their forms are out of date. I just had a conversation, not a few minutes ago, a few minutes ago, with the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. The Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Now we know, or at least history tells us, or legend tells us, that a gentleman by the name of Alabama Vest, Alabama Vest, lived in Macon, Georgia, right? And in the mid-80s, we're saying somewhere around perhaps, uh, I don't know, 1842, let's say 1842, this gentleman, this black man, could have been a slave. We don't know. We have very little information. In fact, we have no information about Alabama Vest. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give a little background and try to enlist everyone's support in deluging the Georgia Music Hall of Fame to include Alabama Vest, the legendary inventor of the kazoo. I have one of his kazoos right here. This is probably, as far as we can tell, a perfect example, the first manufactured kazoo as designed by Alabama Vest. In fact, on the reverse side here it says Kazoo Company, patent, uh, looks like March or May of 1902. 1902. Everything is very sketchy about the development of the kazoo, the invention of the kazoo, etc., etc. We have a lot of dates and names, but we have very little information to back any of this stuff. So, to back any of this stuff up. So, I called the Georgia Music Hall of Fame this morning just to verify the fact that Alabama Vest, the legendary inventor of the kazoo, America's favorite instrument, was not in the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. He's not there. His name's not there. I don't know whether he's ever been nominated, but I'm going to fill out this form, and I, me, us, we, Captain Kazoo, and all the kazooists that I'm reaching through this program are going to be contacting the people who are in charge of who nominates and who gets nominated. Now, this form, along with supporting material, should be sent to the Senate, Senate Music Industry Committee, Senator Jeff M-U-L-L-I-S, Mullis, Mullis, at 421A, State Capitol, Atlanta, Georgia, 30334. And this, of course, says no later than December 
1st, 2007. I just printed this out today, and this is February like the 13th, right? Tomorrow, I think, is Valentine's Day. In any event, we're going to fill out this form. We're going to send it to the correct people. If you want to contact the Georgia uh, Hall of Fame, uh, their number is 1-888-GA-ROCKS, R-O-C-K-S, or that's 1-888-427-6257. We got to find out why Alabama Vest is not in the Georgia Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Because Alabama Vest supposedly, oh, okay, there's another contact here. This is a person named Lisa Love, Lisa Love, at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. That's 478-751-3087, or you can send an email to, looks like, L L O V E L Love at Georgia G O R G I A dot org. We've got to get we've got to get Alabama Vest. If in fact such a person did ever exist, we've got to get him in the Georgia who we've got to get him into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. That's all there is to that. Now as you know, our programs run in 10-minute segments. So this is the first in a series of programs fo focusing on Black History Month, Alabama Vest, did he or did he not even exist, and some of our favorite kazoo players. For instance, uh, Jesse Fuller. I had the... Uh, I had the... Uh, Wow, pleasure, opportunity, the most fantastic experience, one of the most, ex one of the most fantastic experiences of my life was sitting at the foot of Jesse Fuller while he played his foot della and his guitar and played his kazoo. And I tried to learn from him. I tried to learn some of his tricks. I tried to l pick up at his technique. But he was just too good. I ain't that good. In any event, we're going to talk more about Jesse Fuller, a lot of the other people, about the Good Time Blues Man, and, of course, my favorite, which you just heard. I don't know whether I'm allowed to do that or not, but in the event that I owe Sony Music Entertainment any money for that, well, I don't know, 10 seconds of music, send me a bill or send me a, just something and I'll take it down or I'll put it up or I won't do that anymore, I promise. But I wanted to give you a little kazoo music <laughs> that I'm not doing at the top of the head or the top of the show. So that was uh, the Mississippi Juke Band playing barbecue bus. Now, we also displayed the famous, I'm looking at this one, and this guy is going to be back. Beep, beep. The dancing. We think that Alabama Vest may have been the model for this guy right here. In any event, that's all our show for today. So we're gonna we're gonna no for the first segment. We'll be back after the commercial with the next segment. Thank you very much. <laughs> 